in it. <clears throat> Later on this afternoon, I'm going to be going over to uh, the apart new apartment and signing pa uh, papers and paying the first month's rent and a deposit and all that stuff. And then I can start and get the keys, and then I can start moving in. Right now, I've been taking down my studio and uh, doing that uh, one item at a time. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. My this whole moving thing has got me on a fluff. I'm I'm going crazy. Is what I'm doing basically. I hate moving, and the older I get, the worse it is. When, when I was a kid, we, I was raised in a Navy family, so I was born in San Diego, we moved to Hawaii, we moved back to San Diego, we moved to Utah, I, no, we didn't move to Utah, we moved to Utah, San Diego, then Rhode Island, then Tennessee, and then Iowa, then uh, Guam, and back to Utah, and that's where I spent the last part of my childhood was in Utah. So I hate moving. I really do. It brings back all the memories of packing and shipping stuff out, to, you know, and yeah, the Navy family and all that stuff. And it just, it's the last thing I want to be doing, but I got to do it. All right, uh, that's going to be it with my speech. I'm going to get to work and start taking stuff apart. My name's Jacob. My name's Jacob. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. It's kind of disquieting to realize that your life can be unraveled so quickly. Well, life is temporary after all. It ain't forever. <coughs> Only life 
life after death is forever. Take my daughter's photograph down. This uh, banner that was uh, at a one-man show of mine in Jakarta, Indonesia, back in 1991, in February of that year. All the while I was there in that Muslim country, George H. Bush was bombing Kuwait. And... Uh, all the way up to uh, Baghdad in the uh, desert storm. And they, I, was, I did a one man show at the uh, Bora Badur Hotel in Jakarta. We sold a lot of bronze. I didn't expect to sell a thing in Jakarta. You could have seen the absolute poverty that country. I just, the difference between people who had money and people who didn't have money was just unreal. All right. Got a couple more things to take down, then I'm going to call it quits uh, for this, and we'll just start hauling stuff. All right. I got the paper signed. I got the key to the, to, uh, the new house, and I'll show you where it's at. I'm pulling out of my current house. Sorry, I'm holding the camera by my right hand driving with my left. Well, at least the weather's on my side today. Yesterday this time it was getting rainy. It's been rainy every evening for about the last week. This is Madison Avenue, the same street I live on. I didn't put my seat belt on that's why you're hearing uh, the ding 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 and that's the house right there with the uh, weather vane on top of it and that's the front door and uh, my garage door which is an automatic garage door Thank God. All right, I pulled my car into the uh, garage and uh, we got all the books out of the uh, back of the van and stacked inside my new studio. This is Donna's husband backing up the truck. That's Donna. Say hi, everybody. This is my garage, and that's my new studio down on the other end. I got all this space, and I got all these windows to work from. That's, good. that's my driveway right there, and there. is all the energy I got for today. I've been packing since 8 o'clock this morning. I'm done. It's, uh, what time is it? I don't know. Anyway. 
it's 610. The garage door opens. <laughs> oh God, wouldn't you know it. Anyway, just got back from dinner. Uh, this is all my studio stuff. I'm gonna be setting it up tomorrow, I think. Got a lot, full day tomorrow. We're gonna move all the bookcases I have at the house right now over here. This is the area that I'm going to have for my studio and it's just off of the front entryway here. <sighs> Got a bathroom over here with a shower and bathtub and uh, then we got the upstairs. <coughs> I got a garbage disposal which I didn't have in the other house and I got a small uh, gas stove and thank goodness I don't have to walk clear across the room to turn on the lights in the kitchen <laughs> this is uh, my dining table the stairs from downstairs I got four crawl space entries and uh, got a closet that I'm going to turn around tomorrow it's facing into the kitchen instead of the bedroom. Now this is uh, the bedroom. It's, a, it's like I said, it's a small apartment. It's a lot smaller than the other place. Uh, got two French doors. My bed will go between those two tables with that uh, thing behind it, that crawl space. I got air conditioning and I got heat. And I don't have to pay for the electricity for either one which is amazing. And this is the back porch. I don't have quite the view I had before, but it's okay. It's gonna be nice to sit out here in the evening and, and bring my barbecue up here and do a little barbecuing. Like I said before, uh, the, the uh, stairs scare the crap out of me, but I'll handle it. Just take one step at a time. Things you change as you grow older. You don't quite do what you did when you were younger. I used to literally run up stairs. I used to skip stairs and take two steps at a time can't do that anymore my body won't let me <sighs> got an entry closet right there and uh, I'm, I'm getting better at going up and down the stairs got a small bathroom but it's big enough for me and uh, a shower Let's see how good that shower is the light ain't that great. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a lot better light. For today, I'm done. I'm totally pooped out and ready to crawl into bed. It's been a long day. So tomorrow, I got my work ahead of me and uh, we'll get all these books sorted and all that other stuff. So, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.